on hand today answering all your questions regarding diabetes, but you can give us a call right now, 1-866-493-0060. But one of the best things you can do is focus on your nutrition. We have Chef Gary Blunt here from Intermountain Healthcare with a great recipe idea. What are we making today? We are making a uh, teriyaki salmon with a sriracha cream sauce. Okay, now I think a lot of people think when they're dealing with diabetes, they have to let a lot of stuff go. But in reality, you don't. You can still have healthy, good tasting meals. Correct, and this is why I picked the, uh, the salmon, because it's uh, high in omega-3. Okay. Uh, and so that's really a, a, a great um, product for the uh, diabetes. We also, um, I've got the bulgur wheat, which is um, awesome, a very great um, uh, starch for the um, diabetes. Um, this this uh, recipe is only uh, 393 calories. Okay. So um, your carbs is what you really need to watch when you're doing diabetes or have diabetes. So your average is about 45 and this one is 42. All right, Chef, now it looks like we've got a lot of color. How do sure. we get started? Okay, so um, we've made a marinade here with a uh, ginger soy sauce. Okay. And, um, and so you can let this sa uh, salmon marinate overnight. Would you put it, it in a Ziploc over... bag and sure, maybe put totally. it in the fridge? Easily. Okay. And, and that's where I actually did it. I'm just making it look pretty now. I like that. Um, so um, you give it a little salt and pepper. And then what I'm doing is uh, we're going to grill it. And uh, at the end of the show, I'll show you the finished product. Okay. So um, since you guys don't have a grill, uh, we, we have this product here. What and vegetables are we using? Okay, so the, uh, the vegetables we're using are non-starchy vegetables. So you've got zucchini, squash, red bell peppers, and some garlic. Which are all in season right now. Correct, and it's great because they are fresh and yummy. Um, so the vegetables we're sauteing up. I'm gonna just letting those saute around. The bulgur wheat, um, we're using a veggie stock. Now I have no idea what bulgur wheat is. Okay, bulgur wheat is uh, one of the the nutritional uh, wheats that um, that uh, everyone says that, uh, like quinoa. Okay, so it's, it's like it's a super food. It's really a buzz food. thing that everybody's talking about. Totally. And so we're trying to get into, as chefs, we're trying to get into better grains. And, and uh, so we're using quinoas at the hospital. All right, so you've got the stock going there. Correct. And then what you'll do, and then here's the bulgur wheat. And so what we're going to do is cook this for 20 minutes. Okay. And, and what we'll do, yeah, I'll let you stir it around. Got and that. while we're stirring that around, we're going to make the sriracha cream sauce. Okay. And so on the sriracha cream sauce, I know I, it, it, it's kind of icky looking at first, but this is the finished product. So what do you have in there? Okay, I have um, uh, sweet chili uh, sauce. I have sriracha uh, cream, I mean, uh, sriracha sauce. And then I have yogurt, which is low fat. And the good thing about it is it's a low fat sauce. So you're not getting a lot of fat out of this whole thing. Okay. And so it's, it's really excellent. Um, so we've got the omega-3 for the heart. And, and perfect for the diabetics out there. So now let's perfect. put it together. Do you have a plate okay. that's all done? Yes, I do. And okay. I wanted to grab that real quick. Okay. And show you the finished product. Oh, wow. So, you know, they say you eat with your eyes first, and right now my eyes are liking <laughs> what they see. So you've got the uh, salmon up top, you've got the bulgur wheat, you've got your vegetables and your, ceram uh, your, your sauce. So if you don't sure. mind... Yeah, I'll let you eat it, I guess. All right. <laughs> hey, stick around. Be right back. <laughs> Today's the day. I'm going to ride Cannibal.